What is up, players? It's Warbots Tay up in his mug, and welcome to an unboxing I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've had this box kit with me since I moved to California from Hawaii, and I've been waiting to unbox it. I just haven't been able to, to do it and get to it, but I'm super stoked that I am today. It is Relic Knights, the No Empire Battle Box, and this is a Warbots Tay July Painting Challenge 2014 July Appreciation Video. I know it's already 2015, but um, better late than never. And it's for a guy that is really, really awesome. Play it painted. Uh, I'm gonna put all the information and links to his YouTube channel below and you can check him out. He did a phenomenal job. And not just in painting up all of these miniatures, not just from this, but uh, just like his July painting challenge was just phenomenal. And he was going to conventions and doing all this other stuff and he was really, really dedicated and I, I actually, honestly, I hadn't seen any of his work before the July Painting Challenge, and I was just blown away. I, w I really, really was. He's a great guy. So, uh, please check out Play It Painted, and let's check out this No Empire stuff. So, you open the box, and you get, woo, awesome, autofocus, this black plastic thing, and uh, at the top, let's look at all this all the uh, all the paperwork stuff before we get into the, the actual models. Oh, there's a lot. So, I don't know anything about Relic Knights, but after watching Play It Painted's videos, I mean, he's showing off the models, he's painting them, he's doing live painting sessions on his channel. You guys really should check it out. It's so great, especially for someone who's been just into the GW side of things all this time so it's great to see somebody else like go over and explain everything here's your mat where you put your cards and I think because there's so many different there are these different factions right in Relic Knights you get the chance to do uh, I, I think they all look different they probably all look different like the this army looks like predominantly red yeah like their, their theme is like lots of lots of red so maybe uh, maybe the other ones are different you get a deck, a battle deck of cards. And we'll open this up and show you just uh, the artwork and everything. We won't go stay too long because we don't want to show off too much of it and want to get to the models. But I mean, it's just really cool that they include this in the Empire box or in, in the, the starter kit. I guess you could call it a starter kit. And uh, this is a company, I think, I believe, if I remember back to the earliest videos, of the earliest videos of uh, Play Painted's project log that got kickstarted successfully and so all these people but uh, a little while ago and so all these people got these boxed kits in the mail because they had paid for it and they had donated money to the Kickstarter and uh, and then all of a sudden they just pop up and one day they're like here we got it made Merry Christmas, and um, I think that's very good. Very good, very good. I, like a lot of people, I think were saying. I think not only played painted, but somebody else was mentioning. I remember watching somebody else's videos, and they were saying, "Yeah, you know, this is one of the projects." When he got his box set in the mail, this is one of the projects that I kickstarted a while back, and I totally forgot about. It. And then one day, I just get all these boxes in the mail, and I thought, "Oh yeah." So, uh, Kickstarter. Making dreams come true. Okay, Dark Space Calamity. I believe that is like the name of, is that the name of the main book? Oh, so it looks like you get everything in here, like a little mini rule book. It's just a pamphlet, but yep, it shows you how to do your cards, how to play, how to work out all the rules, and that is fantastic what all the cards mean playing the game. So it's a small skirmish type game, kind of like, War Machine Hordes Infinity, I want to say. And if you, you have actual experience, because uh, my memory is drawing a little bit fuzzy now, thinking back to all of the videos that I watched about the, the mechanics of the gameplay, please feel free to chime in with your two cents on on uh, the benefits of this game or, or what, what makes it really great. And um, it, it just looks so beautiful and fantastic. They've got these markers here, the No Empire tokens red tokens perfect for tracking your area of effects action effects and scenario conditions this token pack includes 28 tokens and a legend card to keep the track keep track of which tokens represent your effects 
So Relic Knights, also done, uh, the companies up here listed are Soda Pop Miniatures and Cool Mini or Not. So working together in collaboration, it's just so cool to see a game, you know, come out, come to fruition and come to a finished product. And after buying this kit, I actually went back to my local game store at the time and uh, I found some other stuff that I really, really liked from from Relic Knights, but uh, that's okay because this this is pretty cool. They, they, they all look really cool. It's this kind of anime, sci-fi theme. These are all the characters. Spite. <laughs> High Priestess Zeneda. Um, yeah, so you know what? If, one of my, actually one of my um, resolutions in the new year is to branch out and do get, get more into different games, different manufacturers, different companies. And since I'm doing this commission painting studio thingy, it's, uh, it's, it's good to just be as, you know, diversified as possible. And then here's like, I guess, a character card. Beautiful artwork. Again, kudos to the artists. All right, let's get into the thing of the thing. The miniatures. Oh, you get a bag of them. And this is... Ooh. Did I open this already? I must have opened... Oh, my hello. Okay, so I, I must have opened it already and dug through it because look at all this stuff coming up. So the first thing that strikes me is that the... The plastic or the resin, not sure if it's what, what is what, but um, it looks pretty durable. It is not, uh, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, I don't want to say Forge World plastic, a little bit like it, or resin. Um, I think in transport some of these pieces might have gotten a little bit busted up. I can see some some rough edges here, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look at everything and We'll see what is what. Okay, so now I think everything is all kind of like out of place. So you've got big monster guys, you've got smaller dudes. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, you've got these big like demon. Oops, sorry. Demon looking guys here that have heavy armor, really big, bulky, and beefy. And actually, I don't think I'm. I showed you guys what comes in this box kit. Let's take a look at the back over here. Sorry for the... Oop. So you get three giant looking demon monsters. You get the High Priestess Zeneda character. And you've got like that little sprite character right there. So, okay, th that's what it's gonna look like all built up and painted up. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid, I'm sorry, I can't everything is all like thrown together the pieces are all thrown together here and I don't remember seeing a build guide so I'm gonna have to go through all of this and and see what I can make out I guess here's the gun that one of them has auto focus oh my god so good no more blurry videos hopefully I fixed the uh, ISO and uh, the f-stop everything so hopefully no more um, no more blurry videos. All right, so yeah, we'll save you for later, lady. When you take a look at these bodies, they look pretty big. And let me take out a, here's my Salamander Space Marine to show in comparison how big they're gonna be. The High Priestess Lady standing a little bit taller, like Primark size, maybe. Hey, get out of here, you. So, let's push these pieces off to the side and look at them one by one. You've got a hand holding a massive club here. In fact, let me zoom in so we can get some good detail on it. Really nice. It looks like there's really nice detail in there. I'm not seeing... There's a little bit of flash. I'm not seeing too much though. And 
yeah, it is always lucky this shoulder pad right there. There's a mold line right down the center of the leg. Looks easy enough to clean. Some of it is hidden down here on the side, so that's good. Thank them for that. Easy enough to clean on the side of the plate there. Yeah, and they're all different. All three of these guys, I think, are different. You got two guys holding the heavy weapons. One guy holding... Uh, that giant gun. Sorry. Pretty cool. Heads. Classic Super Saiyan Demon. Yeah, look at the. If we can. Look at that face. That is an angry fellow. It's got that classic Japanese demon, big spiky hair. Power levels over 9,000. Focus. Yeah. Awesome. It's the targeting head, I believe. <laughs> Just goggles. What? Okay, so there's a mold line right there over across of the head that you might want to be careful with. But look at the, look at that. That is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna go off of the color scheme included or stick to it okay you've got a I'm just gonna quickly rip through these look at that muscle the muscles right there here's one of the hand holding one of the weapons yeah look oh my gosh look at that look at the detail on that gauntlet is nice. Really nice. I mean, the, the fact that they're able to do this multiple layers, really nice. Okay, then you got a bunch of armor plates here to cover on the body. Yep, really great detail. Nice, nice looking lines. Very good. There, that's gonna be fun to paint up, man. The highlights you can be able to do with uh, multiple layers on these armor plates. If you're into it and you can do it, I'm still not that that good at it, but you could do some really nice non-metallic metals. Dragon head. Yeah, it's very like anime, but also mecha kind of like gum gum wing style pew, pew, pew. like very blocky rectangles how's that stuff going on okay do i have the sprites body where's the third guy's head it looks like it might be in here so much stuff it's it's a bummer there's no um there's no build guide. Or if there is, I don't know where it is. Maybe they put it on their website, or maybe it's it's somewhere. I just haven't seen it yet. Here's the head for the third guy. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Very evil, evil Japanese anime. So yeah, I mean, it should be simple enough to build. Here's the right leg of one guy I saw, but um, just follow. Yeah, just following the the back of the box should be easy enough to build. But it's too bad there's no specific little bits and bobs. There's no specific um, like I'm so used to you know getting the, the instructions right in the box. All right. Tentacle thingies? Bells? No, yeah, they look like they've got little bells on the ends. 
just look at that detail though. Showing off that motion with all these multiple layers. I mean, the sculpts for these things are out of this world. Okay, <laughs> cute spike. It's just like a little... <laughs> what? Half snake, half... Hey -o. And then where's her head? This is her head. You are weird, little lady. Also, you should put some clothes on. It's cute, I mean, when you look at the miniature itself and you're looking at the detail, you can really see the, the work that went into sculpting. All the little spines on the front, as well as the fingers all splayed out like that. Very cartoonish, but good detail. I think the arms and the hands are they're cartoony without being ridiculous in going overboard. And the last one is, let's take a look at High Priestess Zeneda. Hey all Going for, of course, that Asian water sleeve kind of look. I mean, this is a pretty cool sculpt when you consider like all of the different flowing lines of the cloth. Let's take a look at the front side. Let's finish with this and I mean, beautiful sculpt. All the detail, look at the snakes on the sleeves. Really nice. So, oh yeah, and all the little spikes coming out. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you do check out Play It Painted's YouTube channel. Uh, fantastic guy, like I said, his projects, and he's so engaging, and he asked me to come on to a live show of his uh, when I have the chance. So definitely check out his channel because I'll probably be on there sooner than later. And yeah, we can do like a live hangout. So. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, please if checking out all of these July painting challenge videos has motivated you and inspired you then please join in because it is coming up in July and uh, the plans are maybe um, this year I might be heading to the Bay Area open since I'm actually in the area the Bay Area now so um, if that happens again in July, Bay Area Open, I know they're getting ready for their Las Vegas Open, but I might be able to go down and hang out with you guys and we'll swap War Stories live. But uh, up until then, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Laters!